Okay, it's, it's from, um, where are you from? From Albania. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, <laughs> originally. Nobody's perfect, but Alhamdulillah, he's, he's, he's here. Um, okay, so let us start, inshallah. Uh, and it, this is being recorded, yeah, Luan? Yes, Ustad, I've begun recording. Right? Let's start, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim inna alhamdulillah nahmadu wa nasta'inu wa nastaghfiru wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa may yudlil fala hadiyalah wa ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan 'abduhu wa rasuluhu in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful we praise him we seek his help, we seek his forgiveness, and we seek the protection of Allah from the evils in our hearts and from the evil things that we might be tempted to do. He whom Allah has guided, none of us can lead him astray, but he whom Allah has led us straight, none of us can lead him at the right path. I bear witness that none has the right to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has no partners, and my witness, witness of Muhammad sallam, is his slave and his messenger. Um, Luan, can you help me to put me as the, as the, uh, in the main screen? Am I in the main screen? Yes, Ustad, you are on the main screen. As in the, the main one, in the, in, because I see a lot of things here. Okay. Um, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, illadi hadana li hadha wa ma kunna li nahtadi alaw la an hadana Allah. We, we praise and thank Allah who has guided us to this place. If not for Allah's guidance, we would not be in this place. A'udhu billahi na shaltan al-rajim. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu. Taqullaha haqqa taqati wa la tabutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Ya ayuhal nasu taqa rabakum alladhi khalaqakum min nafsi wahidah. Wa khalaqa minha zawjaha wa batha minhum wa rijalan kathira wa nisa'a. Wa taqullaha alladhi tasa'alu nabi wal arham. Inna Allah kana alaikum raqiba. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu. Taqullaha wa kulu qawlan sadidah. Yuslih lakum ahmalakum. Wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum. Wa ma yuti'illaha wa rasulahu. Faqad faza fawza nazima. Or you truly believe of taqwa to Allah as is his due and do not die except in the state of Islam, which is a state of complete submission and surrender to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O men kind of taqwa to Allah who has created you from a single soul that is Adam, peace be upon him, and from him Allah has created his wife, that is Eve, and from both of them Allah dispersed into many men and women, and of taqwa to Allah in which by using his name, you have made many requests and demands from one another and maintain the bonds of kinship. Indeed, Allah is ever over you an observer. Or you truly believe of taqwa to Allah and speak always the truth. If you do so, Allah will direct you to do good, righteous deeds, and He will forgive you of your sins. And whosoever obey Allah and His Messenger, sallam, He would have achieved a great achievement. To proceed on the best of this speech is the speech of Allah, which is in the Quran. The best guidance is guidance of beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The worst thing in Islam is the introduction of new elements in faith, and every new invented matter is an innovation. Every innovation is misguidance, and misguidance will lead us to the hellfire. Assalamu alaikum wa ala khatib al anbiya al musallim Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And greetings of peace and blessings go to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who is the last and final of all the prophets of Allah. Alhamdulillah, we are gathered here on a special occasion, and alhamdulillah, I'm so pleased that we have brothers. And hopefully sisters, inshallah, joining us from all over the world, from Russia to Malaysia to uh, Turkey um, and Indonesia, hopefully, inshallah. Yeah. Um, and of course, in cities such as outside London, such as in Cardiff, right, brothers and uh, uh, joining us. Um, really pleased. And we have, of course, Brother Yusuf from, I'm just flicking through the who is in the, in the, on, on the list. Um, from Bulgaria, right? And all hopefully joining us, inshallah, in order for all of us to remind ourselves to be grateful to Allah for His blessings. The blessings of Islam is something, sisters and brothers in Islam, that we can't, we can't count the gratefulness that we have with, to Allah, that we have been guided by Allah to Islam, which is, as we, we said many times in our classes, that it is our passport to Jannah that without this passport, none of us can enter Jannah. And it is through Allah's mercy that he has guided all of us to Islam. And we must also uh, ask Allah now, inshallah, to be able to grant us his mercy, which is the visa to Jannah. No visa, no entry to Jannah. And this is how we, we remind each other through our sessions. Alhamdulillah, even though we have the, um, the pandemic, right? that is, well, it's getting worse, isn't it true, in many countries. 
but lessons are still being conducted online alhamdulillah and we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless us with his um, continuous mercy and the knowledge that has given us that we are, we are able to improve ourselves uh, in order for all of us to inshallah continue with our purpose of life and understanding and implementing continuously until our last breath that the purpose in life has always been to worship Allah as Allah reminded us in surah number 51 verse number 56 that I do not create jinn and mankind except that they should worship me alone. Do remember sisters and brothers in Islam that subhanallah all of us are on a different journey of course right some of us um, as I say, in, in different countries some of us um, are on a journey in order to well to study some of us on a journey in order to uh, uh, to to work for a living um, some of us are on a different parts of a journey in life but the purpose must always be the same it is to worship Allah in the end because all of us will have no option but to meet Allah one day right? and as I said so many times even into in this, this afternoon's talk with the Islamic circle where Allah reminded us in surah number two verse number 281 fihi illallah thumma tuwafa kullu right in, in the last verse that was revealed usually when when you see some movies or some read some books that last bit must be the most important thing right and therefore when Allah revealed this make sure we pay attention because Allah did say remind us right in surah number two verse number 281 that to be afraid yeah to be afraid of the day yeah, be afraid of the day when all of uh, all of us will be uh, sent to Allah, will be gathered with Allah. Then every person shall be paid for what he has earned, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. We make dua Allah subhanahu wa taala continue yeah, to grant us the guidance uh, until our last breath. Um, with without much ado, right? We I would like to invite um, Brother Hanan. Right, Brother Hanan is seven years old. Right, Brother Hanan is one of our students uh, in the steps of Allah um, um, children's class on um, Sunday. Right, um, so that we are able to, um, inshallah. Right, train our future leaders yeah, to ensure that the children are able to be equipped with the um, ability to understand again that what is the purpose of life. Yeah. Um, with that, I will invite Brother Hanan right, um, to represent the, the Steps of Allah Children's Group right, uh, to recite for us a verse of the Quran, which is the most important verse in the Quran, yeah? and of course the meaning, inshallah. Right. Luan, can you please um, um, help me to spotlight him, inshallah? Yes, alhamdulillah. Okay, Hanan. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. No, 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 no need to be nervous, right? I'm going to tell you why later, inshallah, in, in, in some of the uh, slides later, inshallah. Okay, shall we hear from you, inshallah? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Wala yohi tu na bishai im min il mihi illa bimasha was ya kursi hu sama wa ti wal ard. Wala yu udu hu hezu huma wa huwal nani ul azim. Alhamdulillah. And the meaning, please? Allah. There's no God worthy worship except Him. Ever living or sustaining. Neither drowsiness nor sleep overtakes him. To him belong whatever on the heaven and whatever is on the earth. 
Who could possibly intercede him without his permission? He fully knows what is ahead of them and what is behind them, but no one can grasp any of his knowledge except what he wills to reveal. His seat encompasses the heavens and the earth. The preservation of both does not tire him, for he is the most high and the most great. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah. And uh, Brother Hanan has actually memorized um, the verse of the Quran, which is the most important verse of the Quran. And so the meaning, subhanallah, right? So these are the things that, subhanallah, we, we should try to um, uh, strive, right? As, as you know, what I've always tried to do in my classes in Steps of Allah, always, always to just not to recite the Quran, but to understand, inshallah, right? The meaning and inshallah to implement as best as we can, inshallah, alhamdulillah. Now, um, let us continue with our next part of the, um, what do you call it, um, the presentation, inshallah, which is our, uh, the slideshow about um, steps to Allah, inshallah. Um, Luan, can you help me with the, um, um, the sharing of the screen, please? Just uh, so just uh, share your screen. It's just at the bottom because I can't share your screen from yourself. Okay, sorry. Let me do this. Um. Yes, I will share screen with everybody. Inshallah. Perfect. All right. Okay. Good. Can everybody see this? Inshallah. Okay. Good. Now, alhamdulillah, we are at the 16th anniversary special. It's not something that we celebrate, of course, but it's just to keep it into account of our alhamdulillah with Allah's guidance, our achievements, the things that we have done right throughout these years. Yeah, we, uh, it's so amazing. So we have our guest from uh, Malaysia, Brother Suhaimi, who has been part of the very early stage of Steps to Allah when it started 16 years ago. Only six people were in the house in Islington. We're going to show the, the places in Islington. One of my students, sorry, one of my classmates actually called Brother Saifullah took Shahada and Alhamdulillah, we had this lesson in the house where to welcome him to Islam. And um, there we are, Alhamdulillah, until now we are still uh, in, in existence in order to remind each other about the um, the how we move forward in understanding the purpose of life, inshallah, right? That's why I put in a dua. It's very important to our practices in Islam that all of us should try to, to memorize. Ya Allahumma inni as'aluka ilma nafi'an wa rizqan tayyiban wa amalan mutaqabbala. Which means, oh Allah, I ask of you for knowledge. Not just knowledge, sisters and brothers in Islam, but also beneficial knowledge is very important, right? I ask of you for not just provision, yeah? But provision that is good and pure, this is halal. And I ask of you for not just the deeds, yeah, but the deeds that are accepted by Allah. And may do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue yeah, to guide us uh, in this way. Now, as we have informed, it was established in 2005, right? And despite the COVID pandemic, alhamdulillah, and I have to thank, of course, Sister Lisa, alhamdulillah, for making it easy for us to move forward from the um, live classes, both in Jerusalem, in London Central Mosque, into the online classes. Um, we have um, able are able to reach students from all over the world. In fact, yeah, from the US, the Canada, France, and so on and so on. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, are able to join our classes. Alhamdulillah, right? Um, now, for about fifteen minutes, we're going to talk about. Of course, we do need to, inshallah, increase our knowledge, right? But subhanAllah, the what Omicron uh, virus or the uh, variant uh, are back, subhanAllah. And this is something that we do need to understand, since it's Muras in Islam. As Allah had, um, had punished the peoples in the past, right? You, you understand, for example, that the people... Uh, of the Ban Israel in the times of uh, the Pharaoh, right? They were punished with seven forms of punishments. For example, about blood, about lies and frogs and, and so on. It's all in the Quran, right? This pandemic, for me personally, it just happened, just not a coincidence. 
something that we have not done or we have we have failed to do in terms of our obedience to Allah that made Allah not just make it happening this pandemic in our lives, not just for one or two months, subhanAllah is having ongoing for two years. Something that is not right somewhere. As Allah informed us in surah number 13, it was number 11, Allah said, فسهم, that Allah will, ne- will not change the, condi- the good condition of a people as long as they do not change the state of goodness themselves. So in a sense that it's not, and it's just not, not applied to the Muslims, also to the non-Muslims, that we do need to really wake up and start to understand that everything happens from Allah. And it is Allah who is able to remove this pandemic. Not about the, it's not just about the vaccination. So it is Allah who is able to, inshallah, remove it. We do that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will remove it completely so we are able to, inshallah, continue with our acts of worship yeah, um, in the best of manner. And Allah also reminded us in Surah number 42, verse number 30, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَسْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ and whatever of misfortune befalls, befalls you, it is because of what your hands have earned. And he pardons much. Yeah, so surely, right? It is what from what ungratefulness that we have and how many of us are forgetting Allah's blessings that Allah perhaps have made this pandemic uh, prolonged in such a way that it, it seems as unending until today. Right? In Surah number four, verse number 147, Allah informed us, Ma Allah. Why should Allah punish you if you have thanked Him and have believed in Him and Allah is ever appreciative yeah? um, and all-knowing? And this is very important that Allah reminded us. Why should Allah punish us if we have truly worshipped Him in the best of manners, if we should have truly thanked Him? The fact that many of us are still in dreamland and that we are um, many of us are moving actually away from the deen, right? That Allah is uh, testing us with this, yeah, so that we are able to change, inshallah. Yeah. Now, so the issues, of course, right, is about in- increased westernizations of the Muslims in the Muslim world that compromises Islam, right? What do I mean by this, right? You, you, you and I have witnessed not too long ago how people in Saudi Arabia were queuing up for what? Not to go to the mosque, but to to queue up to enter the shop to buy things for the Halloween festival, wasn't it true, right? And we know for in, in, in many of the countries, right, uh, the singers were invited, right, from Formula One was actually today or uh, yesterday, wasn't it true, right, in Saudi Arabia and all this. Um, so, so people are moving away from the true path and trying to become westernized in order for to get the a favor from the Western countries, not knowing that we have the best. SubhanAllah, Allah given us the deen. Yeah, as, as we talked before today in my class in the Islamic circle, when Allah informed us, in Surah number 5, verse number 3, that Allah said, this day I have perfected your religion for you, I have completed my favors for you, and I have chosen for Islam as, as your way of life. And we, we should be so honored that Allah has chosen us to be Muslims, alhamdulillah. Number two, corruptions, right? Are there many corruptions in parts of the world? In Malaysia, in Indonesia, in Pakistan, it is increasing, subhanAllah, right? And we know it is, it is in, the, in the media, right? So these are the things that all these, we call it a facade, yeah, all these things that are um, things that would um, make Allah um, be less merciful to us, right? On the basis of all these things that are happening in the world, especially in the Muslim world, right? Increase social media. Of course, social media is important, right? Because uh, it, personally for me, it makes me able to connect with um, family members back home in Singapore, Indonesia. But subhanAllah, it also increase the exposure of sins, right? And this we can see in, in, you know, in TikTok, yeah, especially in all these things that we are, seeing every day, yeah, so that we, uh, uh, instead of making um, goodness in terms of Allah's blessings, in terms of this technology, but a lot of times that is, is actually increase the amount of sins that people are committing. More ungrateful to Allah, yes, many of us actually uh, 
fail to understand when Allah said in Surah number uh, 14 verse number 34 he gave you all that he asked from him and if you were to count the blessings of Allah never will be able to count them indeed mankind is um, uh, wrongdoers and ungrateful to Allah number five increase disobedience or with that comes disobedience right uh, in many Muslim countries instead of um, embracing the fact that we are able to um, have a lot of Quran, a lot of um, Hadith books online for free, right? Uh, because in general, we, we should understand that the Quran is a guidance for us. When Allah said, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَوْ رَيْبَ فِي هُدَى لِلْمُتَّقِينَ That the Quran is meant for you and I. When Allah said this is a book, there is no doubt about it, a guidance for those with taqwa. Right? So in general, when you have more copies of the Quran, people uh, should be more... Um, able to be guided by Allah through the Quran, but subhanAllah, instead of that, we have more increase of disobedience to Allah, right? Number six, increase of deviant sex. Yes, of course, we have uh, in the UK itself, right? Increased members of the Ahmadiyya, increased members of uh, the Shia community and all these kind of things. Yes, they are Muslims, but subhanAllah, we do we do not understand, right? When Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu informed us in, in the last message, or the last sermon when he said, Taraktu fikum amroini, lanta dillu tamasak nubi makita bulawa sunnatin nabi. I'm leaving you two things. You will be never be led astray if you hold on to them. This is the Quran and, and my sunnah. And that's all. Islam is very simple. We just need to follow, but a lot of times you can see the deviant sex are, are increasing. Number seven, increase in justice. Again, subhanAllah. Sad to say this, uh, again, the Muslim countries are, are one of the, uh, are the countries that are committing a lot, lot of injustice. Look what's happening in Yemen, look what's happening in Syria, in Egypt, even in Saudi Arabia, where a lot of scholars are all in prison because they're not able to uh, enjoy and forbid evil, right? And these are the things that we, uh, uh, justice itself, Allah's name is uh, Al-Adl, the just. All of us are expecting Allah to be just on the day of judgment and subhanAllah, we can't even, um, Practice justice in this life. The last one, increased priority of the dunya. Of course, we understand even from a hadith when Jibril alayhi salam was asked to look at the uh, 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 paradise, right? Jibril alayhi salam came to, back to Allah and said, oh Allah, paradise is so amazing. Of course, everybody will enter paradise. And then Allah put all the difficulties in a surrounding paradise and Jibril was asked to look back and came to come to report to him again. And Jibril alayhi salam said, ya Allah, not many people can enter paradise. And those, all this is on the basis of the dunya. Yeah, that is um, trying to distract us yeah, from our purpose of life. Right? That's why Prophet Muhammad SAW said in hadith, yeah, where Abu Bahara reported that Islam comes like a stranger and it will return like a, being so strange and so blessed are the strangers. They are ghuraba. Yeah, the, the strangers will be the one who is so strange that they're trying to implement the Quran and the authentic hadith, but they were usually yeah, being abused by the people in general. Right? And in, in the next hadith, as, as we informed, as is in the screen, right, the, the part that Prophet Muhammad SAW is afraid that of us is this thing called al-wahan, which is love of the world and dislike of death. Right? Now, um, solutions. How do we Insha'Allah, resolve this. Begging Allah to remove this pandemic, especially. Right? First, first of all, of course, we need to seek Allah's forgiveness, right? Because Allah said very clearly, Surah number 39, verse number 53. Oh, my slaves who are transgressed against themselves, do not dispel the mercy of Allah, for Allah forgive all sins. Indeed, He is often forgiven the most merciful. Number two, to be grateful to Allah, right? We need to look at the mirror and ask ourselves, when we say in our prayer, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, do we mean it, right? When we say to Allah, oh Allah, all pros and thanks to Allah, who is Allah? The Rabb of the Alameen. Rabb, as you know, the meaning must be the one who creates, maintains, sustains, guides and protects us. And yet when things happen to us, some of us are going to the grave, some of us are going to the shuyukhs, and treating them like, like, like God. And all these things we do need to understand when we say, only to you we, we, we worship, only to you we seek help. 
That must be the only solution when anything, anything happened to us, we must go to Allah first, right? Number three, seek ways to increase the love of the deen, right? This is, subhanAllah, how I hope, especially in myself, right? It's not just about to, okay, I've done my prayer, khalas, finish, that's, that's about it. Did I love what I was doing, right? In terms of fasting, for example, right? Do I love the fact that, subhanAllah, this fasting will, inshallah, allow me to enter Jannah, to be forgiven of my sins, right? To be able to enter from one of the gates called Arrayan in my fasting. And that love of the deen, we know the deen is not just about Islam or the religion, is it? The deen is a way of life that Allah has chosen us to be Muslims. Do we love what we are doing? And we know from Hadith, from Muslim say that if, if a person is, is not enjoying the acts of worship, they need to question the intention. Yeah, whether we are doing for the sake of Allah to do it for the sake of showing off. Number four, do not take Islam as a ritual. And we need to understand what we are saying, especially in our salah, right? Many times, for sure, if you were to go to Muslim countries and ask the, the young, uh, the, the, the teenagers and all this, ask them about Al-Fatiha. Most of them may not know what it means, right? And this is something that we do need to understand that we have been guided by Allah to be a Muslim, that we have been invited by Allah to face him every day at not less than five times a day, right? Even your, for those in the UK, even your Queen Elizabeth doesn't want to meet you in Buckingham Palace, isn't it true? Right? But Allah is inviting all of us, right, to meet him every day, yeah, on a regular interval, right? And we do need to, inshallah, make sure that we understand what we are in. The Quran is not just meant for Ramadan. It is meant for us to understand, but it is a guidance for our daily lives, subhanAllah. Right. Number five, to seek proper knowledge. Yes, YouTube is good, alhamdulillah, but it's also misleading in many aspects. So we do need to understand that um, to, to have a knowledge that's in accordance with the Quran and authentic hadith. Number six, to unite the Muslim as one Muslim ummah. We have been divided for a long time, right? And we do need to understand that there's only one Islam. Therefore, inshallah, there must be a one solid pack of Muslims in order to move forward, inshallah. Number seven, the aim is to achieve taqwa. We know you understand taqwa is ability for you and I to try and that we love Allah so much that you always want to obey Allah at the same time that we, um, we fear Allah so much that you always want to prevent ourselves from disobeying Allah. And we know from surah number uh, 49, verse number 13, Allah said, Inna that the one who is honored by Allah is the one who is taqwa. Right? Number eight, to eliminate cultural practices if they go against Islam. Yes. Even in my culture, right, uh, in, in Singapore, Malaysia, there are practices that completely go against Islam, right? How on earth do you explain to people from other parts of the world that in, in my side of the world, for example, for marriage itself in, in a wedding ceremony, it is unnatural to invite less than 1,000 people. When Allah said very clearly that we, do not, we must not waste money and resources, why don't we use this money, inshallah, to, in order to uh, save money to go to Hajj and all this? Right. Um, again, in some other cultures, uh, we know, for example, um, in Afghanistan, I saw it on YouTube how they need to go underneath the, the Quran in order to get the blessings of the marriage. Right. So many, many things. Right. In Indonesia, for example, sorry to say this, Indonesians. Right. Um, when it happened, for example, the I remember specifically that this. Um, volcano erupted anyway. Subhanallah, a volcano just erupted in Indonesia. So, make dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect the people and keep them safe, right? But in 2006 or 2010, I'm not mistaken, uh, if not mistaken, one of, one of the volcanoes erupted. And subhanallah, the people, the, the sultan itself, ordered the ship to be sacrificed in order to appease the, the guardians of the mountains, right? In first of Muharram, right, in the place called Parang Tritis. Uh, is, which is beach, people will offer food to the guardians of the, of the sea. This is completely un-Islamic, right? And it's still being practiced today and it needs to be completely stopped because Indonesia is supposed to be a Muslim country, right? Number nine, hold on, hold fast to the Quran and the Sunnah, right? Very important that we, we practice not because our parents are doing it, not because the, our grandparents are doing it, but because this is from the Quran from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right, and if it is wrong, we need to change it. Subhanallah, and this is how I myself change a few things in order of in order to ensure that I'm able to uh, hold on fast to the Quran and the Sunnah. 
Last one, of course, we feed the poor, right? It is one of the messages of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he uh, came to Hijrah to Medina. One of the things that he says, spread salam. Number two, feed the poor. Number three, uh, pray when others are sleeping. And number four is to uh, maintain ties of kinship. Don't remember, uh, remember brothers and sisters in Islam, as I said just now, I've, I've, did this, I've recited this verse before. Yeah. And be afraid of the day when you shall be brought back to Allah, that every person shall be paid for what he has earned and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Yes, we make the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove this pandemic from our lives so that we are able to uh, continue with fulfilling our purpose in life with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, uh, will um, give grand shifa to those who are not well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase our iman and taqwa and that may, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us for our shortcomings and for our sins. Okay. So with that, we end the short uh, discussion about um, how to move forward you know, with our um, our life in this pandemic, it is going to be with us for a while. And we just need to, inshallah, make dua to Allah to continue yeah, to, to protect us against this, uh, the, any form of illnesses, right? Now, uh, for a few minutes, I'm going to, do, to with the photo, photos, inshallah, I'm going to go through how it all started. Alhamdulillah, I'm so blessed to be, um, to be in a place where I had uh, my lessons from my own parents back in Singapore. Um, where we, we were actually, when we started, well, to, to, to practice Quran and Sunnah is quite difficult. We, we were being abused by some people. In fact, in fact, my parents, I remembered, especially my father, did not allow me to mix with the neighbors, not because of anything else, but because of the influence that these people may have on me, right? And this is important that we actually understand about the importance of adhering to the Quran and, and authentic hadith. Okay, so this is how it is, how it was back in Singapore, right? Anybody know where I was, right? Can you see, can you see my mouse, right? Um, down here, right? Um, always following my mom um, in terms of the lessons that we had. This is our, well, we, we don't have a luxurious lifestyle. This is, uh, we call it the kampong houses or the village houses. That's where lessons all started. Uh, mom and dad were both teaching, and subhanAllah, uh, these are the ones that it all started. And this place is so called Darussalam, is what we are calling our place in, um, in Plasto now, right? Um, lessons were conducted regular, very regularly, um, almost every day, right? And also, um, well, part of Nashid group. <laughs> and of course, um, as Brother Hanan did just now reciting the Quran, I was also asked to recite the Quran um, in front of everybody on a regular basis. Qurban was conducted in the house itself, subhanAllah. So every year we would be expecting about 60 sheep from, from Australia in order to have the Quran in the house itself or in the back garden, right? And all the classes were conducted. Well, those of you who have not seen the youngsters, seen the pictures black and white that has not been uh, alter. This is actually the black and white pictures that we only have in those days. Um, yes. So on the right side, we have that teaching on, on, the, on the top and the mom teaching, my mom teaching on, at the bottom, right? And classes again were conducted. The Qurban, it is how it is in the center. Uh, the Qurban was conducted on a yearly basis. Everybody chips in, everybody volunteered to, well, do, for example, uh, try to uh, skin the sheep, right? Some people would be in charge of uh, getting hold of the sheep. Uh, of course, I remembered a few times that the sheep uh, ran loose in the streets and we have to chase after the sheep and all this subhanAllah are happening in our, uh, on, a, on a yearly basis, yeah? And the, at the bottom part here in the, in the center, we have the uh, small house, alhamdulillah, but it's packed with people who are trying to seek knowledge. Then alhamdulillah, Right, it, it, it began, began in Islington where we had our classes. Some brothers are here today, hopefully, that we have not seen for a long time. Brother Ridwan is here yeah, in the center. He's, he's now hopefully with us still. Uh, he's in Turkey now. Brother yes, Mohammed. Yes. Ridwan, are you here? So, yeah. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Alhamdulillah. Let me see you in Turkey now. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm listening. Still single. So, sisters. 
Alhamdulillah, right? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Brother Muhammad, uh, he's a Syrian. He's in Philippines. Hopefully, he's here today to join us. Not sure how many people are joining us, but I think there's quite a number. Alhamdulillah. Um, and we have, yeah, so these are the usual gatherings in, in East Linkton, share the house with a, a friend of mine who's non-Muslim, right? But alhamdulillah, we are able to still to continue with our classes on a regular basis, yeah? And we have also, uh, well, um, some picnics in the in the back garden, yeah? Brother Musab, if you are here, right? Um, may Allah grant you shifa, right? Brother Musab has some illnesses in terms of his kidney issues, right? Um, uh, some brothers still look so young, subhanAllah, I haven't seen them for a long time. On the right side here, we did a da'wah project um, where the brothers, the river brothers, are uh, answering questions to the community in, um, where was it? I think about East London in Essex area. Yeah. Then alhamdulillah, in 2010, we moved right to Plaster to where Darussalam is it, it's now. Alhamdulillah, of course, I have to thank my wife for always uh, and during the two weeks, every two weeks, we have to cook for at least for 30 to 40 people to come in the house every two weeks. Yeah. Um, and uh, of course, brothers and sisters are completely separated uh, in different rooms. Um, honestly, it was, it, it used not to be separated, but it turns out that some people are coming to Darussalam to look for spouses, right? That's where we decided to, okay, enough is enough, right? This is where we need to seek knowledge first, inshallah. Yeah. Um, and we have, of course, our barbecues, all right? And it was happened, I think, well, last year, wasn't it true, right? The barbecues that we had, the brothers, we had all these competitions, we had all these, um, yeah, events. Um, and when it is summer, in the summer, we had classes outside, yeah? And these are the sisters that are attending the classes, alhamdulillah. Um, and classes, of course, are conducted in the central mosque. Um, I'm sure you remember this famous pillar that we are always sitting um, in a circle with the brothers, right? We have brother, I uh, don't know whether brother um, Edward is here, right? Turning the Iqra. And uh, subhanAllah, what, what I've learned <laughs> from my parents are these family. Sorry, Edward, you are here, right? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you doing? <laughs> Alhamdulillah, all good. Thank you. Okay, brother Edward is, is actually a, a, a revert. How long have you been a Muslim, Edward? I think I think about four years now or so. Okay, alhamdulillah. And um about for about one minute, what are the why are you what did you take Shahada? So they get why? Yes. What why? makes Islam so special that is different from any other religions? Um I think in one word it's Tawheed. I think, uh, yeah, in, in my experience, uh, there is nothing else that has quite that perfect concept of, you know, kind of what Allah is. And, um, yeah, it's quite magnetic. Once you understand that, it's, it's, uh, it's almost irresistible. Alhamdulillah. 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 May Allah subhanahu wa continue to guide you. Yeah. In the, in the, yeah. And, and all of us here. So, and as, as I said, one thing that I learned from my, my, my parents in Singapore is about this brotherhood and sisterhood, that, which is quite close. I think it's quite different from any, many other classes. That's why you can see in the photos, the brothers are very close. We go out, we would go out quite a lot of times to, well, to eat and to do activities, subhanAllah. And this kind of brother sisterhood is, is quite important that we understand, sisters and brothers in Islam, right? Because of the fact when Nuh salam questioned Allah, right? What did he question Allah? I think it's in Surah number 11, right? In verse number, um, let me see, verse number uh, 46, right? When, uh, and 45, 46, when Nuh alayhi salam was asking Allah, why did you take away my, my son? Because as you know, the son was, um, Allah drowned him. Because when Nuh alayhi salam, um, persuaded him to go into the, the ark with him. He said, no, we, I would rather run and go to the mountain to, to, for safety, right? And Allah actually rebuked him, Nuh alayhi salam, and also, Allah said, Qala ya Nuh, innahu laysa min ahlik. He said, oh no, surely he is not your family. Innahu amalun ghayru salih. Verily his work is unrighteous. So in a sense that brothers and sisters in Islam, all of us, you and me, 
our brothers and sisters in Islam, subhanallah, even though we are not blood brothers, we are actually like a family. And this is what I was trying to build in steps of Allah so that we are able to have this closeness all together to encourage each other to enjoy good and forbid evil. Remember when Allah said, In surah number three, verse 104. And let there be among you a group of people inviting to all that is good and joining what is right, forbidding what is evil in these days, who are the successful ones. Right? So the humble the classes, um, we have, okay, the, the top part here, well, for, is if, if you can remember, at one particular time, we were actually forced to stop the classes. We were pushed from one class to another in Central Mosque. Alhamdulillah, you and I know that I was quite fed up about it. I went to Umrah. I complained to Allah. When I come back, Alhamdulillah, everything was settled. I'm not sure how it is, but Allah can, is ala kulli shay'in He's able to do everything, right? And please make dua that we will be able to continue with our classes in Central Mosque. Again, and you can see the brothers, especially, right, how close we are, um, yeah, enjoying Islam, inshallah, enjoying the fact that we are coming to the mosque in order to please Allah and to seek knowledge. Yeah. Um, of course, we have classes outside. We had these uh, picnics for the brothers out just outside the central mosque in the Regent's Park. Um, don't think that it's all just about eating. The brothers who attended this know that uh, we had a, a short session, again, of and Johnny going for a bit evil. Uh, I, gave, I gave a short talk in uh, Good Street Mosque before this um, pizza party, alhamdulillah. Okay. Um, now, Cornwall, right? We had a session. Uh, we rented a, a, a big house where the brothers would come. Right every night, we have, a, a, as you can see from pictures, a photo on the left that we had talks uh, in the, at night yeah, in order to, again, to remind another about um, things about the uh, purpose of life, yeah, about Tawheed and all this. And we also um, have a uh, week with I would well. The brothers who attended this would know that I would wake them up every morning for Tahajjud. We pray Tahajjud together. And after that, we, after the Fajr prayer, we read the Quran together. And we do dhikr in order to, uh, to understand that we need to be grateful to Allah all the, at all times. That this is in Cornwall, Alhamdulillah. And of course, right, people like Brother Elmi and Ham are good in their, well, in their, in their uh, playing at the sea, yeah. And we have all these amazing, and of course, this in the middle part here is the, is a food, food sea or food wall table in which is a, is a most popular attraction in the, uh, when we had our uh, uh, stay in, in the place for I think about three days or four days, subhanAllah. Okay. Now, we also had sessions at the grave. Right, in the sense that we, I like to be more uh, to the point that this is this is where we are going to be, Jesus Christ in Islam. This is where we are going to be our accommodation after our last breath, like it or not. No matter how much, um, how much you love one another, you wouldn't want to be there if your time is not up. It's neutral, right? But this is actually our place where we. Um, we will be yeah, after our last breath. And this is where we had our lessons on about death, about how to deal with the janazah of the deceased and the funerals and humblers standard by a lot of people. Yeah. Um, we can see also that the brothers are actually brother, was his brother Khalid, yeah? Uh, sorry, brother, yeah, Khalid, yeah? If I'm not mistaken. Um, is, he, is he here today? Perhaps not, right? He's, he's trying... Uh, to fit into, and I was always encouraged, but go to the grave and you, you should see how do you feel underneath the ground, right? And, and this is a very important uh, topic that we discuss. And alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to that in the sense that if you look at our graves in, in London or in UK, especially in London, like Gardens of Peace, alhamdulillah, all the graves are the same, same size. In my countries, for example, people spend thousands of pounds to Beautify the grave, you have great graveyards made of marble and all it's such a waste of money, subhanAllah, right? And these are the things that we, we, we it's important that we, we, we visit the grave in order to remind ourselves of death. We're going to do it again, inshallah, in coming spring or summer if, if it's, it, it's, uh, uh, it's um, of course, the pandemic is, is less, inshallah, yeah? and we have our classes to remind ourselves our journey of the soul, yeah? Um, charity, alhamdulillah, we have three main people. It, this is something that I have to remind you, sisters and brothers in Islam. Um, the difficulty about charity is actually to find somebody whom you trust. Right? It's a lot difficult to have somebody whom you trust in other parts of the world. Alhamdulillah, through my family members in, in, in Indonesia, we have three 
people who are always distributing your funds in Indonesia. We have Pak Didi. Uh, is he here? Perhaps not. It is. It is Fajar time in Indonesia. We have uh, my niece, sister Yusfrita. Are you here? No. Okay. We have my cousin, sister Amina. I saw her face just now. Is she still here? Okay. Alhamdulillah, I see you. See you. And see. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? Ustaz. Pak Didi. Ya, Alhamdulillah. Bisa ketemu dengan Pak Ustaz. Selamat ulang tahun untuk step to Allah ya. Alhamdulillah. Barukah. Alhamdulillah. Nanti, nanti Pak Didi kita, kita, kita ngobrol lagi insya Allah ya. Dalam 15 menit lagi insya Allah ya. Oke. Okay. Untuk mengenalkan Pak Didi kepada semua, insya Allah. So this is this is the one. This, this is very true, sisters and brothers. Islam. It is difficult to trust people. Sad to say this, right? To distribute our funds. Alhamdulillah, uh, Steps to Allah has been in, in charge of what 13 or 14 mosques, uh, 200 over 200 new Muslims in Indonesia, um, in many villages. Alhamdulillah, they they know who Steps to Allah is because Alhamdulillah, through your contributions, we have been able to uh, assist them in their uh, activities yeah uh, uh, the the um the uh, things are bought for them the um um rice and all this one thing that we need we, we are doing there is that we, we are not giving them money much because subhanallah we had tested before the money they said that they claim that oh we want to use money for to repair the roof for example that actually the money was used for something else so we rather give them the materials to repair or to repair the things for them subhanallah so that we are, they are able to get the uh, proper assistance inshallah right so these are the things that we are helping them and alhamdulillah um, it is difficult to get these kind of photos from other charities but alhamdulillah we have our uh, uh, my own uh, home those whom i know very well in indonesia who's helping us to distribute uh, your funds alhamdulillah right uh, these are all the 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 things that we uh, are helping them we have the orphans um the poor yeah in this village of one is very far away but hopefully i i, I did farid are you here farid brother farid yes welcome do you remember you 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 were with us in indonesia right Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the presentation, Islam in Britain, uh, and then uh, you came with us, and I had to give well a speech in Indonesian language, which I was so it was poorly made by me as mm -hmm. well, because I'm not used to speaking Indonesian. Um, but there were about one thousand people who attended, and of course, Brother Farid is a revert himself, and he was there to witness and uh, the things that um, uh, 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 that we contributed to Indonesia. Alhamdulillah. Right on the right side is this uh, house um, uh, or the uh, uh, mosque and madrasa that we have made, and inshallah we're going to see the the the, the completed work inshallah that that uh, that has has been achieved. Alhamdulillah. Right. So again, these are the orphans and the poor that we have contributed and uh, we help in Indonesia. Yes, pandemic. So classes are starting online. Um, we never thought it would last for, for, for two years, subhanAllah, conducting online, but there you go, as the, the, we, I discussed just now, the fact that you know, we are in this stage, we just need to move forward and again, uh, alhamdulillah, I have to thank Sister Lisa for her help, continuous help in trying to uh, encourage me, I'm, I was quite, uh, well, I'm an old school a person who doesn't really understand about the computers and uh, alhamdulillah she was helping me to um to understand about uh, skype and uh, even this zoom alhamdulillah yeah um yes yeah, so these are the i'm sure you are you are familiar with qala mosque we contribute quite a lot of money alhamdulillah to them um and of course it's a new that on the right is a finished product in the alhamdulillah they have all had your lessons jazakumullah khair for your contributions this is one of the uh, projects that we did uh, in in London itself, right, and it's it's been used extensive and extensively. Alhamdulillah. One thing I like about this mosque is that they completely follow the Quran and Sunnah. Alhamdulillah, without being too um, what do you call it over the top regarding the uh, the implementation of the Deen. Yeah. Um, we also have this built this uh, new Muslim center in Hammersmith. Alhamdulillah, I don't have the uh, final photos yet. 
I was informed it is ready. Hopefully it is completed. Uh, soon, inshallah, I will send you the uh, to your WhatsApp the completed photos. Right, this is where the new Muslims are gathered in Hammersmith. So that's not Kalam. Kalam was in the north of London. This is on the west of uh, London, right? And this is the one, the most that uh, we are held. We have held. Hamlet is is almost completed. I think I should say ninety five percent completed. Alhamdulillah, uh, starting from scratch. Um, and we, uh, it has been used yeah, in Indonesia for uh, Salah and also, of course, for the classes. The youth, the children, these are the future, inshallah, right? It's important to invest our time and, and to ensure that they're understood. You can see brother, a uh, young brother uh, who is doing the uh, uh, Adhan, yeah, subhanAllah. Uh, because uh, we trained them to do the Adhan Iqama. Yeah, just now was Brother Hanan, just now. Yeah, uh, this was Brother Haki who was doing the Adhan. All right. And of course, we have this beautiful Afghan brother. Brother Abid, are you here? Okay, but, so he, he he's attending our class. These are the, the brothers who, you know, who are, subhanAllah, two of, two of, two of them are. Um, well, I should say, are foster children, right? And they, they practice Islam now. Subhanallah, not sure whether um, anybody knows them, but their, their father actually became Muslim also, right? Um, and it's something which is, again, a ni'mah, uh, the blessings of Allah, right? Of course, our Albanian brothers. Tell me, Elham, are you here? Tell me, Elham. Okay, inshallah, they will join us soon. Yeah, and of course, our brothers who are um, with us at the central mosque. Yeah. Um, and of course, these are the recent photos of, from Indonesia, right, to reach us, uh, to make dua. The, the important thing about these brothers in Islam is about how we have this connection as Muslim brothers and sisters in Islam that they will make dua for us as we make dua for them. Uh, even for me, myself, in my tahajjud, I will always make dua for uh, brothers in, in, in Indonesia, right? So that we are able to um, have this subhanAllah connection of, of brotherhood and sisterhood from all over the world, inshallah, right? So these are the things that the people that we are helping, yeah, the poor. Um, I think there are quite a lot of people there. For sure, a few thousand people who are, who are living in, uh, in the place called Wonosari, yeah? Yes, so with that, we make dua. Ya Rabbi, awzi'ni an ashkira ni'mataka ladi amta alaya wa ala walidaya wa an a'mala salihan tardahu wa adkhilni bi rahmatika fi ibadika salihin. My Lord, grant me the power that I may be grateful to you, to your favors which you have bestowed on me and on my parents and that I may do righteous good deeds that will please you and admit me by your mercy among your righteous days. Surah An Naml 27, verse number 19. Right? And lastly, of course, is our website. Do, do go into the website. Alhamdulillah, for those who are overseas, we have this, um, we have this um, where Google Translate in, in many languages, in Indonesian, in many other languages that you can see, uh, plus the lectures that I conducted on, on Skype and YouTube are all in this website yeah again alhamdulillah uh, sister lisa jazakallah for your uh, kind contributions to this she's the one who maintains the website okay now alhamdulillah this is uh, my our slide presentation yeah and i hope everybody subhanallah will continue to make dua for us um just for um introduction we have just now Quickly, because I know it's very early for them. We have uh, Pak Didi from Indonesia. We have um, Sister Amina Mashkur. Uh, Luan, can you help to highlight them, please? Luan? Let me see. Um, okay, uh, but Didi, uh, what do you have to say to our steps to Allah? Alhamdulillah, and of course, Jazakallah Khair uh, atas uh, bantuan Pak Didi, yeah, untuk mendistribusikan uh, 
um, sedekah ya atau ya. apa yang di, uh, diberi oleh staff dari staff Allah right ya ya cuma going to speak in indonesian right and we, uh, hopefully i can translate hmm. my wife can translate insyaallah okay ya kasih terima kasih mas ustaz ya atas bantuannya untuk uh, uh, semua di indonesia ya yeah. Apa, apa, apa pesanan pesanan yang Pak Didi mau uh, beri kepada, kepada kami semua? Ya, selamat ulang tahun saja buat Stepsi Allah. Semoga berjaya seterusnya. Dan uh-huh. bisa menambah para mu'alaf-mu'alaf yang ada di Indonesia pun dan mendapat bantuan dari Stepsi Allah. Terima kasih atas bantuannya. Uh, semoga bermanfaat buat uh, penduduk di Indonesia. Terima kasih. And it is uh, but it was just uh, giving us uh, the thanks to the people. Dan da, da, di Indonesia berapa masjid yang kita bantu, insya Allah? Ustaz, 17 masjid, mosque. 17 yeah. mosques that we are helping in Indonesia, Alhamdulillah. Um, and um, yang uh, ada yang mu'alaf berapa? Yang mu'alaf, ya sudah banyak sekali. Nggak, nggak bisa dihitung, sudah lupa semua gitu, Ustaz. <laughs> <laughs> so, helping brothers and sisters in Islam, Wonosari is a place where a lot of people, Subhanallah, this is where with Allah guidance, yeah. guidance huh? a lot of people become Christians, right? 50% of them become uh, Christians, and Alhamdulillah, we, we come in into the village in order to help them, and Alhamdulillah, uh, as 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 this Pak Didi said, is his brother said that uh, there's so many people who become Muslims again, and he couldn't count how many people that uh, have become Muslims. Too many of the Hamdulillah Mikdua that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will guide them, everybody in a straight path. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, Kak Amina, Bu Amina, Mashkur. Ya, Assalamualaikum, Muhammad. Yes. Brother, sister dari Mu'alaf. Alhamdulillah, ini bisa bergabung nun jauh di sana di Indonesia. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Jadi yang yang masjid yang Aisyah sudah siap, Alhamdulillah. Insya Allah, ini ada beberapa ibu-ibu yang sudah ikut bergabung. Uh, tapi mohon maaf ini karena saya jauh tidak di rumah, jadi mungkin mudah-mudahan sinyalnya baik. Ini Am- kita habis saja subuh, ya sudah beberapa menit yang lalu kita sedikit mengaji Al-Quran seperti biasa. Alhamdulillah kembali lagi bergabung. Alhamdulillah. So ya, sister Muhammad. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. 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 Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Just, just try to translate as sister Mina again. It's just my cousin. She has been here before, right? Some sisters I met her before in London, and Alhamdulillah, she 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 uh, wish the uh, send her appreciation to the help that we have given, yeah, to to the uh, people in Indonesia. Money usually go to the orphans and the poor, yeah, in in Indonesia, right? Uh, Pipit is not here, yeah? Okay. Uh, Kapsa? Kapsa. This is, this is one of the, um, well, students of my, my, my parents in, in, in Singapore who is, has joined us, alhamdulillah. If she's here, can, can you answer me? Because it's very early in Singapore. I think they are doing perhaps the Fajar prayer in Singapore, yeah? Subhanallah. Okay, um, so let's let me um, ask Brother Ridwan. Yeah, Brother Ridwan. Yes, I. Sorry. Salam. Yeah. Are you so shy? No, I'm not shy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, Brother Brother Ridwan is a doctor. Alhamdulillah. Right. Um, studied in Bulgaria. He was with us. Yeah, for quite some time. How did you find that yeah, your your uh, your time in Steps of Allah? Uh, yeah, um, it was very good. You know, I, le- I learned Ikra, you know, with you, <laughs> and uh, I remember those days. You know. Yeah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. They were and- they were very special to me, and uh, I improved my Islamic knowledge. You know, <laughs> and we used to, we used to we used to go to the mosque. You know, these Spark mosque. Yes. And Alhamdulillah, you know, I'm, I miss those days though. <laughs> of course, of course. I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide you, yeah, in, in the right path, all right, uh, in your pursuit of knowledge. And of course, yeah, I mean, Allah subhanahu wa grant you a pious wife. Yeah. Inshallah. <laughs> in, uh, yeah. Uh, Brother Sam, Brother Sam, are you here? Uh, yes. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. How are you, Chef? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You join us. Um, 
um, quite an early stage, is it? About what, for eight years ago? Yeah, yeah. About, um, yeah, I think seven, eight years ago. Right. Uh, yeah. Can you inform us also what, what, what made you choose Islam? Um, I know it's a long journey, it was a long time ago, and I'm sure you might have forgotten, but you know, it is an important form of, form of part of your life that you, of all the things that in, the, in, in this world, the different regions, you chose Islam. Yeah, I think um, the, I, was, I was searching, and really the, the thing that um, guided me yes. through, from Allah is through um, a good friend of mine, is, you know, it's just character. And yeah. living Islam, and that was more than the kind of argument. You know, it wasn't an intellectual thing for me. I just knew him well. I trusted him, and his, um, yeah, the the content, and also just the, the physical manifestation of the the principles. That was the, the main thing for me. I think. Alhamdulillah. And you, you did uh, your, I can't remember. You did your Iqra classes with us, yeah, in the mosque. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. And uh, I'm like, you know Arabic now, right? You learn Arabic language. Um, yeah, still uh, enough for the, you know, for reading Quran and these kind of things. Still simple, but my speaking is not, it's not great. Okay, Hamdan. And you, how many children do you have now? Just just one little boy. Okay, so. Hamdan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide you and, and bless, especially with your, with your child. May Allah make him and guide him to be a righteous child. Right? Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for joining us. Now we have brother Zach from America. Is it true? Yes, that is true. Mr. How are you? Alhamdulillah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. You, you always move move houses. Where are you now? Atlanta. Atlanta. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And you, inshallah, you might be moving to um, Riyadh, isn't it true? With Allah's will. Inshallah. Please make dua for me. I will. I will. We will, inshallah. All right. Um, I remember your story, Zach, that you say that. You, you have this so much negative, even though you become Muslim, right? You had so much neg negativity or negative thoughts about Islam. Remember, we discussed before. So what made you change your mind? Yeah, no, so I did it backwards. I, I became Muslim first and then I believed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I became Muslim. I took Shahada to marry my wife. And yes, I, I didn't realize, I, I, decided that I would learn about Islam, but I, I never thought I would actually decide that I wanted to follow it. And, you know, I, it's a little bit of a mystery. I, it's, it's not one thing. It's, it was a lot of different things that um, eventually, I think it was the evidence. I just became convinced. Yes. And, you know, we, we have the Quran and you, the, the thing that I, I really think happened was I decided that I would be open-minded and really try and investigate and learn about it. And with Islam, as, as you all know, the more you learn and the more you, you, you know, you, you ask Allah for things or you, or even, you know, say, I, I can't do this or I can't believe you, you know, I need help. And Allah will always answer, you know, and I always got a, an answer and, you know, I, I saw the evidence and every time I had a question, I got an answer yes. you know, from Allah. And, and eventually it, I realized that, that it's the truth. And, you know, mm -hmm. I was I, I was convinced. Yes. Alhamdulillah. And I can't remember, did you did you well have this um, a better attitude in Islam? Was it in America or when you came to UK? Oh, London was, uh, alhamdulillah, I went to London to become a Muslim because I think it's so much easier to be a Muslim there. And if it weren't for that experience, you know, being around in steps to Allah, having masjids all over the place, yes. halal food options, if I tried to start in America, it might have been too hard. Allah. okay. Uh, you know, because um, it's amazing how much it's just, you know, how many Muslims there are, how many masjids in London. But here in America, it's, it's not as easy to be, to be Muslim. Okay. Even in Atlanta, Atlanta has got a lot of percentage of Muslims, isn't it true? Yeah, but everybody is busy, you know. They come to the masjid and then they go home, you yes. know, or go to work. Everyone's very busy and, and very focused on dunya. 
Yes. Unfortunately. Okay. Alhamdulillah. And um, do you have any message for us in, in, in the UK, especially? Yeah, I would say, you know, um, I, I do want people to know that just how special it is to have a community, because like I said, in, in America, in, inshallah, I can maybe move to the Middle East. I'm, I might be able to move to Riyadh, inshallah. but um, inshallah. But, you know, the thing that I'm really missing here, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. I have my family, alhamdulillah, and we try and, you know, give dawah for raise, raise my kids the right way. But um, having that community is, um, it, it's so important and it's, it's um, such a special thing. Yes. Okay, subhanAllah. And of course, you are always with our, in our hearts, right? You're always in our dua. Yeah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide you wherever you are in, 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 in uh, wherever you're moving. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make Islam as a way of life for you and your family. Yeah, Jazakallah for joining us um, in, in America, from America. Yeah, uh, brother Marco, brother. Where's Muhammad? Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Welcome, salam, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you? How is everything? Sorry, it's a bit dark, my one second. It's okay, don't worry. Yeah. Better? Yes, that's much better. How, how are been, you, Sheikh? How long have you been following us, this, 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 uh, this program? Uh, I start to follow, maybe it was like 15 minutes ago. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. We have, we have, alhamdulillah, brothers from all over the world now that, that join us, alhamdulillah. Um, yeah. So happy to have you with us. Um, and I know for a fact, alhamdulillah, that you um, and your mother become Muslim. Isn't it true? Right? And me yes. Allah. Let's say yes. She is. She did take a shot. I remember you keep on. And, yes, and, she did. She did. Yes, yes, yes. Um, how, how, okay, when, when you become Muslim, how was your journey? How was it difficult? Uh, uh, to be honest, it was not that difficult because I, I was, I was ready. I was ready because I've been searching about God, you know, His existence. Yes. And uh, and believe that God is there. Yes. Which, which I used to believe it, but I never had the the confirm, you know, from from a true religion that. Is there? Is watching us, and you know, is listen, yes. listen to you. So, when I when I embrace Islam, I was ready because yes. I, I went to different uh, religion, and uh, I didn't feel uh, the same. Oh my God, my daughter, she's here. <laughs> okay, you okay, Baba? Where is Mama? Mom is there, Daddy. You okay? Okay, so <laughs> yeah, because she, she didn't feel very good today, so that's why we have a, we have eyes on her. Uh, okay, and okay. yeah, and know that you have a beautiful voice. No, I don't. I wish I had. No Are you way. Able to recite a few verses of the Quran. Sorry, recite a few verses of the Quran to us, inshallah. No, don't make me do that. Okay. No, you know I'm shy on this stuff. Yeah, it's okay. So Memorize, inshallah. Okay, close, close, close the door. So, uh, ah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, we are waking up, yes, because my headphone is not working. Okay, okay. I, I cannot do a shit because. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we make Allah Subhanahu wa Taala continue to guide you, yeah, and your family in the right path, yeah. Does it come up? Does it... I just, uh, before I close, I just like, I want to say thank you because, you know, what you are doing is amazing, Sheikh. You know, for example, now I saw the other brothers that I didn't see them for a long time. Yes. You know, I felt very good when I saw them that, you know, they still follow Islam, they're still practicing. Alhamdulillah. And, you know, that is very beautiful. So what you are doing is amazing. May Allah reward you for this, inshallah. And inshallah, we see each other soon, yeah? Okay. Sorry about that. I cannot recite because he asked me, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, alhamdulillah. Uh, Brother Suhaimi from Malaysia, are you here still? I'm here. 
Brother Suhaimi, as I said just now, he was one of the hmm. pioneer, right, of Steps of Allah. Right, look at how beautiful his face is now in Malaysia, in, in one of the uh, 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 places called Terengganu in Malaysia, right? Um, you, you joined us for quite some time, right, in Steps of Allah. How did you feel that last time when you were attending classes and all this? Do you miss our us? Uh, you don't miss us. Yeah, of course, I miss it. Uh, you know, I still remember when I was, uh, we started, right? Yes. Step to Allah, when we together celebrate uh, our, our our friend, our Saifullah, right? Saifullah, yes. Yes, yeah, Saifullah, sorry. Saifullah is the first our sign when we, we just around a few of us anyway, right? Yes. Just five, six people that time. That is the way how we started. Uh. Yes. Uh, step to Allah. Yes. Then I, I'm glad to you, Elon, anyway, because you still continue in this one, uh, this step to Allah till now. Uh, now it's a sixteen of anniversary, you know, it's a long time. Yeah. I miss it so much because yeah. I was, uh, I'm, I'm lucky because I, I have to move to Malaysia, right? Yes, of course. Oh, good. I cannot join you. you. Children, alhamdulillah. Yeah. yeah. I always pray to Allah. I always give uh, us, uh, guidance us uh, in a group thing, uh, Yes. To the good part, everything. Yes. Then uh, I think the last uh, I can join you when in 19, 2013, right? Yes. When I went to London. Yes. Then I have a, 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 uh, I had got a ponytail, right? To join your 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 class, isn't it? Ponytail. It's okay. It doesn't yes. affect anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm, I'm happy, you know? Yeah. Sometimes, you know. I, I, I don't want to talk too much anyway, because Malaysia is now, now it's a, a 15 past six. Yes. I'm okay. ready for to work anyway. <laughs> I have to go out, out early. Yes. So I just pray to Allah so always uh, give us a uh, good, healthy, you know. Yes, and then we can continue step to Allah for long until we can meet all together in Jannah, you know, inshallah. That was, I mean, I mean. So always, uh, the God uh, guide us you know, in the right yes. way, you know? yes. give us a good, healthy, you know, yes. and then condition of, of our brother. I always do uh, to our yeah. brothers in good health as well. Yeah. And then always, uh, the God so increase our iman and taqwa to Amen. Allah, inshallah. Amen. Make dua to Allah Subhanahu wa continue to guide you and your family. Yeah, and inshallah, uh, hopefully we meet, we meet each other soon. If, if not in this world, in Janato Haradaus. Yeah. Inshallah. Uh, Brother Nile. Hila, uh, last thing, I, I have to move right now, right? I cannot. Okay, sure. Yeah, thank you. Just call for joining thank us. Yeah. It's good to see yeah, you. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Brother Nile. Assalamualaikum, Ustad. Welcome, Salam Kato. How are you doing now? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. You are one of those who com who've completed the, I the Ikra lessons online, remember? Yeah. Was there yeah. Now, right? So how do, you, how do you feel when you finish the Quranic lessons with us that you're able to recite the Quran now, Alhamdulillah? I don't know. It was a, it was a very long journey. It is. Was, uh... is. Is it a nice journey or not nice journey? No, as in with, with you, it was quite short and it was good. I enjoyed it, but... When I was younger, I learned it, but I learned it with different ways because of like Pakistanis teach it differently, yes. learning Ikra. And then I was just never good at it. Well, I thought I wasn't until I came to you and then we did it quite quickly, alhamdulillah. So yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And, and what advice do you give people who are still completing the Ikra lesson? Just be persistent. That's all it is. And yeah. just... Yeah ask Allah for guidance and help. I remember I used to, every day to work, I, I, I live in Wembley, I'll go to East London to Orgate and on the train, I'll just pull out the Ikra book. This yes. is obviously uh, pre-pandemic. I'll just pull out the Ikra book and just read to myself. Yeah. And yeah, it helped, it helped a lot. It helped a lot. Just be persistent. May Allah subhanahu continue to guide you yeah, and your family in the right path and all of us, yeah, uh, in the straight path that did us a journey to the Daos. Yeah, Jazakallah. Brother Luan, my co-host. Luan? Can you hear me, Ustaz? Salaam alaikum. Alaikum salam to Where's your picture? Can you not see it? Yes, alhamdulillah. <laughs> why, why I'm showing this, brothers in Islam, is, is about 
the fact that subhanallah islam as is what allah described to in the quran ya ya yuhanna su inna khalaqnakum min dhakaran wa untha wa ja'alna mushuba wa qawba ila li ta'arafu ya allah said oh man kind of created you from a man and a woman and made into nations and tribes so that you can get to know one another and this is what it is right that that we are coming from all over the world to in order to alhamdulillah to remind one another about the purpose of life so how are you alhamdulillah i'm okay start how how was it that when you, uh, how was your feeling that when you you joined us alhamdulillah that you know the dean how does it impact your life uh, it, it impacts it greatly um uh it's, it's made a huge change I, I still remember the first time when i came to your lessons i met uh, brother muhammad um muhammad yeah muhammad the egyptian okay yes the one that just recently got uh, his nikah done yes yes um, uh, um yeah we were going towards the masjid and uh he said, oh, I'm going to a teacher. He's going to teach me uh, Arabic, inshallah. I said, oh, really? I think I might be going to the same one. And then surprisingly enough, it was the same one because we both had your WhatsApp picture of the cat. The cat? <laughs> yeah, your, your, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, we we went to the masjid together and uh, I'll never forget. Um, I wanted to learn um, Iqra. And then as you were handing me the books, you said to me, um, I I'm giving you these books. Make sure you learn. And then you held it on. You're like, are you sure you're going to learn? I said I will, and I think it's just I, I don't understand because sometimes, of course, I man increases and decreases. But I think it's just that love I had for Allah and that love of just me learning knowledge and trying to please my Creator, and it really pushed me to like go above and beyond, go further in my Deen and just try my best. I guess. Yes, alhamdulillah. And how do you find the group itself? No, the group itself is amazing. I love it. I love the talks. Uh, sitting down together, reading together, helping one another, especially before COVID, uh, with the when the masjid was open, we would just sit down, have snacks, speak, yes, with each other, even rest with us at times at the masjid. So yeah, nice. alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, and of course, the other one is is newly married. Yeah, may Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, grant you with the uh, pious children. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless your marriage with goodness. Yeah. And, uh, for your assisting me as a co-host. Yeah. No, no. Um, I'm going to get paid with that. Uh, inshallah, in Jannah. I oh. pay you. Um, <laughs> uh, brother Jibril, is, is, is this a brother Jibril from who came to us? The revert. Jibril? Okay, perhaps, perhaps. Assalamu alaikum. Masalam kato. Is this Jibril? Yes, my brother. How are you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. How are you? I haven't seen you for a long time. Alhamdulillah, I'm still around. But although you're not seeing me, I'm still keeping in touch with you online whenever it's possible. <laughs> alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And, and yeah, you attended our Quran classes, of course. Yeah. Yes, I used to. And how do you find when you learn the Quran? I, I can't remember. I, 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 you are revert, right? I am. I am. You are Jamaican. Okay. Jamaican. Yes. 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 And, and I was I was introduced to you by Brother Farouk in the masjid, Richard Spark. Of course. Of course. Alhamdulillah. Okay. And and how and Alhamdulillah, I know Brother Jibril is working hard, inshallah, to ensure that the children are educated Islamically. Isn't it true? Right? Or your children? Exactly. Exactly, my brother. How many children do you have? Three of them. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Two, two boys, uh, one girl. <laughs> may Allah grant all of them ability to seek knowledge and guidance from Allah. Um, uh, and, I mean, I mean. And what is your message to us, to well, to the reverts and all this, um, in in terms of the deen and all this? My brother, I would say um, Islam today is the way how I see it. It is the way forward for everybody. It is the truth, and um, we have to just hold on firm to the rope because of what is going on today and um, we just have to know that it is the way forward and there's no doubt about it yes you understand yes and uh, we just have to seek the knowledge that is out there to yes. make ourselves better so we will be on the right path you understand brother Hila? yes of course i mean so, and i must say the work that you are doing is really amazing because it's it's really eye-opening and, and warm to everybody who, who are participating. So just keep up the good works. I mean, I mean, you're doing so important that Allah is able to maintain our 
as I say, the purpose of life, yeah, to remind each other about the truth, yeah, which is Islam, yeah. Yes. And um, yes. I just pray to Allah to give you more strength to carry on the good work that you are doing. I mean. Um, and um, we will talk soon, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. I still need to, I'll talk to you about off air, my brother. Inshallah, inshallah. Yeah, just a khair for your for your uh, participation. Yeah, in this in this uh, yeah. um, um, gathering. Yeah, uh, on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Lastly, uh, brother Ayman, we know you when you were about what five years old, four years old in the mosque, mm -hmm. right? Hello, assalamualaikum. Um, um, is um, brother. Mm -hmm. Bilal. Brother Bilal, Bilal, how are you doing? So uh, now, uh, let me talk to Bilal first, okay? How are you doing, uh, Brother Bilal? Um, I'm doing fine. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. yeah. Just watching, watching, watching the, the, the lesson from start. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Bro I'm Brother fine. Bilal is, is a yeah. revert, and then his whole family took shahada in the central mosque, remember? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And alhamdulillah, it's, it's a privilege to have you, your, your compa companions here, yeah, with yeah. us. Do you have any message that you want to pass to Steps Allah? Yeah. Um, I want to um, I look at what he was saying and the, no, the, 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 the message about the, the people in, 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 in the world, what caused the, the pandemic. Yes. And I was, I was saying that, that long before even you come up with it, I was saying that these are the things that the people, the, the nation that, that, that fail to accept what Allah is saying at this time will yes. fail miserably. That yes. is what happened. Allah is 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 punish, 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 punishing us the nation of what we are doing because none of us we, we're not doing doing the full the full theory about yes. Islam. Yeah. Yes. We're not we're not doing Islam fully like how Allah said we're supposed to do it, you know? Yes. We we're doing the half and half business. And a lot of them is not, them is not, them is, how, how I put to put it now, them yeah. is not doing, doing the thing where the, the Quran and the Sunnah say they're supposed to do. Yes. Yeah? When they read the Quran, as I say, they, yes. they read it, but they don't, they don't have the understanding of it. And okay. what they go, they go and do different things and add on. And all those add on that them add on is bidder. Yes. Yeah? And the bidder cause all those, those, those things that is going on today. The yeah. pandemic and the all type of disease that yes. is going around, Allah is punishing them. Yes. Allah is letting them know that they must take him serious and have no other God but Allah. Yes. And as as to what the brother say, Islam is the real deal, brother. Yeah. There's no there's no religion that can step in front of Islam. Yes. I can I can endorse it. Because yes. what Allah has done for, for me and my family. And it's still doing for us. Yes? yes, we find it. We find it. If we did in a different religion, we wouldn't we wouldn't find it so so oh. easy. But everything that that you go to as a Muslim in this life is a yeah. test. Yeah, to prepare you for the year after. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala guide us all of us in the street. But... Yes, for the year after, brother Ilan. So, um, what you're doing, brother, you're doing a very good job, and I pray. That Allah give you a long life and Amen. that you will ever keep it up. Keep yeah. it up, brother, because it is very nice what you are doing, brother. No, Amen. no teacher right now I find more interested, like or I find you so interested. You Jazakallah. are like, you know, when you go to a fountain and you go there and you see there's two fountains, one maybe on the left and one behind the right. When yeah. Your fountain is the one on the right, brother. Alhamdulillah. You are going to the right part, brother. And when we drink of that fountain, we feel relief. Yeah. But if if, if other brother to go and drink at the, the next fountain, there's no relief because what they are doing, they are telling Islam, but part story. But yeah. when you come out with Islam, brother, you come out with it more natural. Yes. And you tell you talk it. So easy and simple. When there are such scholars, I'm not saying they are not good. Don't get me wrong. But yes. when they are given the teaching, they don't give the teaching so plain and natural like how you do it, brother. You do it so simple. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we pray that Allah give you a long life. I mean, yes. I, I'm, I'm worried about you know, uh, 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 Aki. When I don't hear about you, I'm <laughs> worried about you. Same like why I worried about my yeah. my little child and my son and my daughter. Same as why I worried you. I love you for the sake of Allah. I mean, yes. and I'm yeah. like, you know, when the prophet was on was on and uh, was on earth, he have these these sabah that is very very loyal to him. Yes, I'm okay. one of your loyal disciples. I'm not care where you are, brother. If I'm you good. even bit Denisha and I hear that things is not right, I will walk up to Denisha. If you have to walk on the sea, walk in here, I will walk, I will beg Allah to give me the courage to come there. As <laughs> to what me and Brother Musa was saying the other day, I said to Brother Musa, the same Brother Musa that they show on the picture there. My yeah. Brother Musa that have the heart condition. Yeah. Yeah. You know that Allah is so great. He pray. And he make door, and right now Allah is helping him with the with the heart condition. It's yeah. not it's not not like before. It's not so so hard on him like before. It is technically mending. Yes. But there's no secret what Allah can do. Yes. And we have to make the world know that there's no secret, no 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 illness that Allah can cure. Allah is the greatest doctor and I mean, he's the greatest physician, and we. We 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 endorse people and invite people to come to Islam because Amen. Islam is a real deal. Inshallah, inshallah. It's a real deal, brother. Bilal, because of the time, yeah, we need we need to cut short, yeah, because yes, yes, yeah. yes. Thank uh, you, thank you, brother. Thank you. That's a, that's and, a, oh, oh, you thank you, brother. Family. Keep up the good work. I mean, I don't mean, give up, you know, because sometimes it? the test is very hard. Yes, yes, but keep it up, brother. You like, don't give up. Yeah. Never give up. Never, never give up, brother Elad. When I don't hear you, it's like a, it's like I'm driving in a car and the engine is not going. Of course. Yeah, just a When I hear you, the engine starts. Alhamdulillah. Uh, brother, brother Dawood, Chris, yeah. Chris, is this, is this brother Dawood? Oh, Yusuf, sorry. I'm going to give you his phone number when, when, no, when no, I see you again. No, no. Brother Dawood is in, in, in America. He's in America, that's what I said. No, no, he was muting. He, he did the thing that yeah. Okay, maybe he's not around. Uh, okay, lastly, Ayman. Yeah? Yes, Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? Yeah, alhamdulillah. Good. As I said, we know you when you were very small. Yes. You saw yourself on the mosque and you grew up with us in the mosque, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, as, as a youth, how, what do you, is your advice to the youth now um, in terms of the practice of Islam? Two and, things. Uh, are the youth in, uh, in, in trouble in the UK? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can comment on that because okay. um, it's, it's a pretty, pretty deep question. Yes. Yeah, because it depends on their circumstances, how their parents treat them, how, yeah. how they treat their parents, you know. Yes. So again, it's a two-way street. Um, yes. But in terms of advice, uh, like I said, two things, uh, being resilient and persistence, like uh, Nayal said, um, the persistence is key. Um, yes. So remember when our classes used to be in, what's it called, Central Mosque? Um, yeah. I'd go every Saturday as well as other brothers go every Saturday. So that persistence is what um, I think kept us all together. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. Okay. Jazakallah khair. And of course, give salam to your family here from us. Um, I think with that, anybody has any questions, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam? If not, we, we end the session today. Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide all of us in the street path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a reward all of us and especially all of you have you have contributed to the um um the donations that we made yeah from from the world we may we may start again to collect subhanallah now uh, for example yemen people are stop millions are starving in yemen and we may collect start our donations again inshallah in yemen um uh, perhaps indonesia because of the volcanic eruptions there yeah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to uh, guide all of us in a straight path may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to uh Increase our love for him, increase our love for the dean, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to understand the deen in order to practice it in the best of men. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, forgive us our shortcomings and for our sins. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us jannah to firdaus. Jazakum al khair. It's so nice to meet all of you, especially those who are overseas. And, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to protect all of you yeah, uh, and all of us yeah, from this pandemic. And with that, jazakum al khair. سبحان الله وبحمد الله شهدوا على إله أنت واستغفرك وأتوب إليك سبحان ربي كرب العزة ما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته